And when NBA teams see see me as a player, they're gonna know. Like, oh, I want to invest in him long term. I feel like he has a lot of potential. You know, I'm I'm showing. I want to show teams that I am a first round pick. Mike Schmitz here with Jalen McDaniels out in LA working out, uh, preparing for the NBA draft. Um, what have these last, you know, since you guys lost in, in the tournament, what have the last month or so been like for you? I mean, this last month or so has been a total grind for me, you know, preparing for what's to come, uh, workouts with the team, you know, it's nonstop, you know, it's just a grind and I feel good about it. What do you think you were able to show uh, this past season, you know, NBA scouts, really your, your first season playing? I feel like, um, my role this year at San Diego State wasn't that big of a role to be shooting threes, you know, off the dribble stuff, but that's things I have in my game and that's things I want to showcase to these NBA GMs and coaches, you know. I'm versatile, not just like offense, rebound, put back, you know. I feel like that's a part of my game, but I still have a lot to expand and a lot to show. What is your family background? Any, any other athletes? Um, my cousin uh, is Jawan Howard. That's the only athlete, well, not only athlete, my cousin uh, Darwin Jones, he plays MLS soccer. So about them too, but we have a lot of athletes. My cousin goes to Azusa Pacific, my little brother, of course. Do you, are you close with Juwan Howard? Is that a relationship he's, he's helped you? Um, you know, we're kind of close. You know, he calls in, checks on me every once in a while. You know, he, he's busy. I got his own thing going on, so I appreciate it, what he does. Was the plan to redshirt coming in, or, or that was just kind of? No, my plan wasn't to redshirt at all. You know, um, my plan, of course, as a freshman, you want to get on the court and play and prove to anybody that you want to play in this game. but. I took. I had a different path. You know, everybody has different paths. I registered it uh, every day after practice, in practice, just going at the other team. I feel like that made me better every day, and now I'm here. So I feel like it prepared me. And then you see, in this year, it was just just going at everybody like I did, like how it was at practice the year before. So I feel like that just rolled over and just helped me become better. And what are you kind of ho hoping to show teams during this process? You know, I'm ho I'm showing. I want to show teams that I am a first round pick. Um, you know, with the college eligibility to test the waters, I feel like that's great and all, but um, I'm just going into each workout showing them why I'm a first round pick and why I think and believe that I am a first round pick. Where do you kind of see yourself in the modern NBA? Um, you know, long term, I see myself as a 3-4, you know, the NBA has a lot of, a lot of big men like myself, 6'10", out there shooting a lot of threes, you know, every team shooting a lot of threes now, so I feel like that to uh, grow my game, that can just help me even more and boost my stock and in the NBA just help me grow as a player. How many positions do you think you can guard at the next level? I actually, I, I can't guard four positions, you know. Uh, yeah, one through four, Hope maybe a five, get a little bigger, you know. Anyone you've kind of been studying or anything in particular, I guess, with, you know, certain players that you want to, you know, help to evolve your game? Um, you know, Kyle Kuzma, you know, he's like a, like a big mentor of mine. You know, he talks to me, gives me a game, like, what it is to go through an 82 season game. So, you know, I like uh, watch a lot of NBA teams, a lot of NBA players, Anthony Davis, you know, Kevin Durant, of course, LeBron James. I just watch the little things. And I feel like um, when I work, when I'm working, I work on the little things. And when I continue to build the little things, and then I feel like the game will even take off even more. You know, why do you think you're going to be one of these outlier types who maybe overperforms, you know, relative to the expectations? You know, I feel like coming up, you know, I was always like the underdog. And, you know, that just, um, playing with a chip on my shoulder, you know, no matter how big, how small you are, like, I don't care, like, I'm just going to go at you. It's a competitive game, you know, I played against great competitors, you know, and just going at it is just fun. And I feel like uh, when NBA teams see, see me as a player, they're going to know, like, oh, I want to invest in him long term. I feel like he has a lot of potential, you know, and just showing my game and um, just showing that like, I can dominate in this league, you know. Great. Well, thanks so much. Good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you.